Grossbart, Dr. Megan Grossbart. So, were they able to give me an ETA on the elevator? It'll take as long as it takes. Heather, they need you in the ER. Maybe Regina and Jolene could cover for me. Regina and Jolene haven't graduated. They're not RNs. Uh, you just go over the supplies one more time just to be sure. Right. Do you think they're being dead by now? I kind of think they're both dead and Dr. Lee knows it. Epiphany, can you call and see if Drs. Drake and Julian are still in OR1? If not, we need another OR prepped and not four. Suction. Plant the bleeder. Since when are you a backseat driver? I can't help this guy if he's brain dead by the time I get my turn to operate. So maybe you want to get set of so hard so Robin can have it back for a patient. Stacy Sloan is not Robin's patient. Dr. Scorpio, we are going to have to end this now. We are not ending anything. It's a well-intentioned effort, but it has obviously failed. Excuse me, Mr. Dr. Archer, one. Dr. Bahar is requesting you for an appendectomy at OR3, and Dr. Lee, they are well, overloaded. Listen up, see. We're not going anywhere. We are understaffed in the ER. There's an entire neonatal We are trying to save my mother, mother and her child that are in there. That mother and child are already dead. Mrs. Sneed! Mrs. Sneed, have you taken a medical degree when I wasn't looking? Dr. Ford, I, look, I am sorry to be so blunt, but you have to understand that we have you? already... No. Dr. Ford. And you have no idea if that patient and her child are alive or dead. I certainly no authority to stop these doctors from taking appropriate measures to save them. That elevator has not moved in over an hour. It did not take a, a brain surgeon to know that that woman and child are, are already dead. Um. Thank you for backing us on this. Can't continue indefinitely. Dr. Scorpio. A realistic assessment of how long that mother and baby have to survive. If we're already past it, it's one thing. Otherwise, you have one half hour before we have to see. It's on. The elevator's working. It's coming. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, come on, come on. 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 I've been holding her the whole time. Well, check it out. She was most determined to live, okay? Uh, stay strong, stay strong, small one. Uh, I followed the instructions as closely as I could, but when we got the placenta out, she, she just kept bleeding. It wasn't from the incisions, but it, it was from the inside. Okay. How long have you been doing chest uh, I don't know, about three minutes, maybe? Wait, I'm going to finish now, okay? I'm scrubbing and I'm close to it, and I don't have time to argue. What did you use for the C-section? My, my knife. Placenta Krita. We're gonna have to do his direct. Dr. Julian's got a patient in recovery. Mr. Ridgeway. I want you to pay me when he's stable. He's gonna need a full battery test. CT scan, C spine, and get me an OR. Not for page Dr. Archer. I want for anesthesia. I'm Dr. Archer's with Dr. Lee at the moment. Dr. I take it you're not gonna ask. Stand by Cruz Gaunt, does that mean Stacey's having a deal? Thanks to my son, Mr. Toussaint Dubois, the baby's in neonatal, and Miss Sloan is with Dr. Lee in a war, too. Uh, get Mrs. Curtis' test results back. Yes, doctor. That's why right here. Okay, good, she's going to need to stay on. Uh... Uh, be careful. Maintenance hasn't had a chance to clean it up yet. Did it occur to you to stabilize her first? Placenta accreta means the placenta has grown into the wall. I know what it means. Then you know Stacy was bleeding to touch. The hysterectomy was the best option I had. The only one. What if the baby dies? Now she can't have any more children. Robin. I'm sorry. I was completely out of line. This whole conversation has been out of line. 
Look, I know I haven't been fair. It's just that Stacy came into ER tonight and she asked for me and I should have been there to help her. In the elevator floor. We've been playing catch up ever since. The hysterectomy was clean. Even the C-section was clean. Okay. She still has DIC from the abruption in La Crita. The C-section was practically textbook. I have to check out that website. What's it be? No, he's in the ER. Uh, there's a woman. She seems to be in labor. Is she dilated? I uh, was doing a prelim, and uh, she's insisting there's something wrong. Can you take over as attending for Miss Sloan? Patrick? No problem. You're just going to walk away from Stacy when she could be bleeding to death. Let's go. Stop. Now. And quit the apology because it really starting to sound hollow. You know, I'm just so sick of having my medical opinion discounted because I happen no, to care about a, a patient. DIC. She's hemorrhaging and her blood isn't clotting. The only thing we can do is replace what she's losing and wait. Coming up. Mm. Take it easy. Cece? Cece, try and wake up. Can you hear me? shot and she was delivered by c-section so there was no blood on blood contact i was so scared i made him promise jason delivered your baby he saved her life jason i said thank you you can thank him yourself Mommy loves you, honey. Stacy? Stacy? She's crashing. Code blue, I need a crash card in ICU 3. DIC is a condition where the body uses up its clotting factors. Patient receives continuous blood transfusions, but if the clotting doesn't occur, patient's blood pressure continues to drop and eventually. eventually they arrest. Patient's heart stops, it's called bleeding out. Charge 200. Charge. Clear. Still need them. Defibrillate again. One milligram epi. Epi's in. It's not working. Charge. Defibrillate again. Charge. Clear. Still need them. Charge 360. Charge. Clear. Flatline. Do it again. Robert. Do it again or I will. I'm calling. Time of death 257. No, she's not dead. Robin. Resume banging and chest compressions. I'm charging the 360. Give me the power. Time of death. Give it to me. But she's a mother. You can't give up on her. I did her. not give up. I did everything I could and she bled out. You wrote Stacy off before you even started. I'm not going to sit there and watch you shock a corpse until but she cries. Patients die. No matter what we do, no matter how much they deserve to live, they die. Now, if you can't accept that, you don't belong in medicine. 